The last thing is once again quite important, is that there will be, there is a distinction, but there is a couple here that we never have to forget and confuse, but we also have to connect them, is rules and meanings. Why is it important? Because very often when you are dealing with rules, you may come to a point where you are so obsessed with the rules and ahkam that you forget the meaning. You want an example? Every one of us. Every one of us. We hear that Allah SWT once called Musa alayhi salam and he told him, Innani ana Allah, la ilaha illa ana, fa'abudni wa aqimi salata li dhikri. I'm the only God. There is no other God by me. Worship me and perform the prayer in order to remember me. And we in our life, we know that we have to pray. And sometimes our body is praying and our heart is forgetting. You get the point? We know the rule, but we forget the meaning. And this could be in our life, in our life, in praying. Even in praying it could happen. What about someone who is dealing with the text and the rules and he can forget the meaning? This is where we become to distinguish between a religion of rules, why it should be a spirit, a religion connecting spirituality with rules, the meanings and the means, the meanings and the rules. The rules are not ends per se, they are means for meanings. وَأَقِمِ الصَّلَاةَ لِذِكْرِ we pray not only to pray, but we pray to remember. If you pray and you forget, there is something which is lacking in your prayer. You, you, you can respect the rules, but you miss the point.